This is going to be an update to the best looking settings I can recommend to use black frame insertion on this LG OLEDs. And credit to this video goes to the user Cynical Creator because he created some fantastic test patterns that I am going to share with you that help me get a much better result, a much better picture quality when using OLED Motion Pro on this LG C1. And you know, the problem is it's too dark near black. So we're trying to increase the visibility, but we want to do that smoothly, okay? And these test patterns are just genius, fantastic. So I'm going to also copy and paste this comment that he made because he's sharing his settings and his experience with his own TV and how this works based on his uh, experience. And that is also very good and very, very insightful um, information. Okay. So I'm going to show you the settings and then I'm going to show you the test patterns, how I think it works. And I'm going to explain you my criteria so you might be able to even get a better result on your own TV. But if you just copy the settings, you have an LG OLED, this is going to serve the same purpose. So it's going to work. Okay, it's going to work. It's going to be almost the same as, as I am achieving here on my TV. And the differences are going to be imperceptible in real content. Okay, so what we're trying to do is to get the best picture quality possible to use OLED Motion Pro. And of course, if you have an LG CX and there, there is a difference in how bright it gets using OLED Motion Pro High at 60, for example, on the CX, it is a lot darker. So you might have to in increase the visibility even more. That's why I'm going to share the test patterns and I'm going to explain you how this works. So you can you can calibrate the TV yourself. So we're talking about here all motion pro high. And let me show you the settings, all the settings I'm using. So these are SDR settings. I have brightness and contrast max out a screen brightness 41 peak brightness in high gamma 2.2. The colors 50 native warm 50. So now the 22 points calibration, this is where we're trying to increase that visibility near black. So these are the settings. I'm going to go over the settings and then I will open the test patterns and explain you how this works. So I start changing, starting with a signal level 30. Okay. So we select 22 point calibration That's the method of calibration. And then I select a signal level 30%. So this is like, well, I'll, I'll, I will explain you later. I select a 30% adjust brightness level one. Okay. So yeah, I will explain it later. Then we lower it to 25% signal level. And then I selected adjust brightness level two. Then 20 adjust brightness level three. 15, adjust brightness, 5, 10, we increase it in 9, 7.5, we increase it in 11, 5, we increase it in 14, 2.5, we increase it in 17. And also I touch here on the 2.5, I increase the green a little bit because I wanted the gray scale to look great and it was not looking great. Even with the factory settings, it was not looking great. Gray. It was looking kind of red. So increasing this green in two clicks is making it now look more gray. Okay. But I didn't want to be touching too much. Uh, this you know, red, green and blue and cause a mismatch because I wanted, I didn't want to change the factory. Uh, calibration, but feel free to do it. So I'm, let me explain you what I did here. Let me show you the test patterns. Let me turn off the lights here so you can see this better. So 
Let's take a look at all the test patterns that he created. Because this is just fantastic stuff. He created this in paint. So these are perfect RGB values. Okay. This is totally accurate values that he created in paint. So let's go back. Let me show you all the test patterns we have from the beginning. So this is a near black test pattern. Then we have the same near black test pattern with a gray. And each picture has the name explaining what it is. Now we increase the brightness here. And this is also something very, very, I mean, I, I love this thing. <laughs> this test pattern he created here, I just love it because you can clearly see how your eyes, when you have something brighter, it is more difficult to see the near black because your eyes are adapting. Okay, so when you increase the brightness here, you can you can see less <laughs> of the near of the near black test pattern, and it's the same values. So increase the brightness again, you can see less, but the the detail is still there. If you get close to the screen, and you try to you know, put your hands so the brightness doesn't affect your eyes. You, you still see the same. But yeah, this is something I, I love this thing. So then you have this Y changing. So these are all, all pictures. You have this one, this one, this one. So I'm going to show you which one I use the most. So this is the one I use the most. This one. And I'll show you. This is with color. This one, I use this one a lot. And I use this one. This is the one that I use the most. So here's what we're trying to do. I mean, let me turn on the light for a moment. What we're trying to do here is to make sure that this is a smooth transition. So let me show you what happened. For example, if I increase or decrease one of those 22 point calibration too much i'm going to show you what happens so you see why this test pattern is so uh, important so let me change to a signal level 15 for example so on 15 i have a 5 here on the brightness so let's say i do this see what happened over here the uniformity, I'm exaggerating it, of course. You see the decoloration that happens. Let me turn off the lights. You can see this. Look at that. See what happens? This is not uniform anymore. And now here is brighter than here. That's what happens. So you want to make sure that you have a smooth transition. Okay? So I have it on a 5. Let me show you with a different point so it is more clear. Let's say I change this 20% signal level. I have now this one at 3. So let's say I do this. See? How this, this is now no longer smooth. And you might have this part brighter than this. So you want this transition to be smooth. That's what you, you have to check out for. And also, the other thing that you can check out, so I leave this one in three. The other thing that you can check out is if you see any color popping here on the grayscale. So, for example, me, I was seeing this on the near black, let me show you, on this near black pattern. Let me show you here at the 2.5 this was looking a little bit red to me so this center here was looking a little bit red so what I did is I, did, I increased the green in two clicks and that got rid of that red uh, near black so you can check that out too if you see the grayscale it has some color you don't want that you want to you want this to be gray to have no color so that's what you have to check out
to check for. So let me know if you have any questions. Again, these settings are 100% safe to use. You don't have to turn on module HDR on the service menu. You can. You can. But to be honest, the difference is not that big. Once you once you fix that near black uh, darkness that you get with All Emotion Pro, done. You don't you, really, you don't really have to access the service menu and turn on module HDR. And I am going to do it because I don't care. I don't care about the risk. I don't care about accessing the service menu. I the warranties expire. But for convenience purpose. Because I'm playing different games all the time. And sometimes I want to play with HDR. So then if I want to play on HDR, then I have to go to the service menu again and change module HDR to normal because that is going to affect the brightness on HDR. So for the maximum brightness on HDR, you want to keep that module HDR at the default normal. So just because of convenience, I might just leave it at normal because I am changing I'm playing different games all the time, so I don't want to have to go to the service menu every time I want to play a, a game with black frame insertion on SDR, and then if I want to play native HDR, then go back and, you know. So after you fix that near black and you have a smooth transition and the visibility on the games is perfect, man. This looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to record a video specifically pointing to the screen. I'll show you the settings again and I'm gonna show you how this looks. It is just fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And yeah, I'm very happy, very, very, very happy with this, with this improvement. So again, these settings are safe to use. You can always hit reset. You have the option to reset in case that, um, you know, you messed it up, it doesn't look good to you. You can just hit reset here. You see here at the bottom, reset, boom, you're back to normal. And also, when you change from SDR to HDR, it is a different calibration. So this is not going to affect the calibration for HDR. So I am also going to do the same for HDR. And I'm going to share with you the settings. And I will see if I can get a better result on HDR. But here's the thing, even if I get a better result on HDR, it would be inconvenient because I want to use native HDR also. So then what's gonna happen is that to use black frame insertion, I have to tweak a lot of settings every time. And then when I want to use native HDR, I want to get all of this reset. So that's too much work. So what I might do, what I might do is to have two HDMI inputs on the TV. So I have a GPU with two HDMI cables and then switch from one to the other. So in that way, one of the game optimizer modes and one of the HDMI inputs is calibrated and the other not. So I have one with, with HDR without calibration so I can use native HDR and then I have the other with calibration to use black frame insertion. That makes sense. I can do that. I can do that and it should work but yeah still an extra step. So let's see. I know I can I can do it on HDR too and HDR just looks better man. This looks better and especially native HDR. But let's see. Let's see if I can get a better result than on SDR, but this is definitely going to work for every single console, every single game. It's just the TV calibrated for black from insertion, which is something that LG should do. <laughs> you have a feature that is causing a picture quality problem. You should have something to fix it. Do you think that LG doesn't know how to do it? Of course, LG can easily have a gamma adjustment. So when you turn on All Emotion Pro High, they should have here below. They should have below here. Something like, like a toggle to fix the picture quality. 
So it looks exactly the same with and without black front insertion. They, they actually, they should have, not only that, they should have also a brightness boost, okay? Or at least all the brightness max out when you use the feature. So the idea is that calibrated SDR with the SDR standards where you can see all the shadow detail, all the highlight detail, the colors are accurate, everything is perfect. They should be able to match that picture quality, be exactly the same when you turn on the feature. Absolutely, they, they, I am 100% sure they can do that. Not a problem, okay? But I'm not working for it, not working for LG. So yeah, <laughs> let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.